Hi, this is Dr. B, and let's balance this combustion reaction for octane. So for a carbon, we have 8. For a hydrogen, we have 18. And then for oxygen, 2. On the product side, we have one carbon atom. We have two hydrogens, and we have two oxygens. But be careful, because on this water here, we have an additional oxygen for a total of three oxygens on the reactant side. Let's leave the oxygens till last and take care of the carbons and hydrogens. So we have eight carbons here. Let's just put an eight in front of the CO2. One times eight, that equals eight. For hydrogen, we have 18. We only have two here. Why don't we put a nine in front of this? So two times nine, that equals 18. So everything's balanced except the oxygens. Let's recalculate the number of oxygens we have on the product side. So I have eight times two, there's 16 there, plus 9 times 1, that's 9, for a total of 25 oxygen atoms. We could take and multiply these two, 2 times 25 over 2, and that would give us, these will cancel out, that would give us 25 oxygen atoms. So we could just put 25 over 2, and we would have balanced the chemical equation. However, often you're asked to have whole numbers. And the way we get whole numbers is we multiply everything by 2. So I put 2 in front of the octane here. And 2 times 25 over 2, that just gives me 25. 2 times 8, that is 16. And 2 times 9, that would give us 18. So at this point, we have a balanced equation. And the coefficients are 2, 25, 16, and 18. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.